Hey y'all, welcome back to Better Than Good Barbecue, the backyard cooking show for the average Joe. Today, I'm gonna be making some bacon and blue cheese smash burgers on a pretzel bun. Let's do it. Real quick before we get into it, I wanna tell you what I did to get the burgers the way they are right now. Basically, I went to my butcher and bought some 80-20 ground beef, and I brought that home and mixed it with salt, pepper, and garlic, a rub that I have, as well as this pig stand barbecue sauce that I got at Kroger, and some Worcestershire and basically just mix it all in there until it was well mixed and then formed them into balls. Uh, I would say these are about a third of a pound each. So anyway, that's how I seasoned it up. Let's get them on the grill. Had the coals on and heating up the grill. Let me show y'all what I got right here. I got this griddle grate and I got it from a place called The Burn Shop out of Wichita Falls, Texas. Y'all go ahead and check them out, man. They're great guys. I ordered this, sent them my artwork and Told them what I wanted written on here. Got BTG BBQ right there, and then it says better than good up top. Man, these guys are awesome. They had it to me within four or five days. Really affordable too. This great only cost me about 120 bucks. So again, the burn shop in Wichita Falls, y'all check them out. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start with the bacon. I'm gonna get that on here around the griddle part where the burgers are gonna go. And what this is gonna do is just gonna add flavor. Uh, so I'm gonna do this first. Let's get it on there. All right, let's get the bacon on. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. It don't matter, sloppy, whatever. I'm just trying to get it cooked. Doesn't have to be pretty. Probably should have some gloves on, but All right, so now you just want to put the burgers on there. You just grab you some parchment paper and press them down. And you want to press them firmly and hold it there for just five, 10 seconds to let the bottom crisp up a little bit. And just repeat that process for the other burger. Now I'm just gonna add some barbecue rub. This is one I made. You can use whichever one you want. Just make sure it doesn't have too much sugar in there. The burgers have been on for one minute. Now it's time to flip them over. They cook really fast. You don't want them to get overdone. So just give them 60 seconds, flip them over, and you should see that nice crust right there. Got the burgers off. Now it's time to toast up the pretzel buns. Just put them right there over the grate whichever grate you're using and just give them a little bit again you don't want to overdo it so just check on them and you should have that nice toast look right there that's what you're after now it's time to go make the burgers all right we got the burgers off the grill we went ahead and assembled them got them on there with that blue cheese the bacon and the toasted pretzel bun man i can't wait let's go ahead and take a bite and see how we did i mean just look at that thing if that doesn't scream backyard burger on another level, golly. Mmm. I don't even care how messy I look on camera. That's good right there, y'all. I'm telling you, that's a backyard burger. Elevated. Man. Mmm. That blue cheese the bacon, the seasonings we put in there, that pig stand sauce inside the meat. Man, it's kicking that flavor way up. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed following along with this one. I hope you give this one a try. And remember, if your barbecue was just good, you could have had better. We'll see you next time.